Cat Stanley Space Demon coming at you, and today I want to talk about the time Vanilla Ice got baited by Black Crow's drummer Steve Gorman. Beta! So back in 1990, MTV brought together some of that year's hottest acts in music to perform on their annual New Year's Eve show. They had groups Wilson Phillips and the hair metal band Cinderella, along with rapper Vanilla Ice, who was riding high from the success of his first album, To The Extreme, along with the Black Crows, who were flying high from their hit debut disc, Shake Your Money Maker. They were all invited to perform on the show that would count the nation down to 1991. Now, it may sound like a bit of a disparate group of artists, something of a motley crew, if you will. Those artists all had something in common being some of the biggest acts in music that year. But as far as the show goes, they were going to tape the show three weeks in advance on December 10th to be aired on New Year's Eve. So all four acts gathered together for the taping of the show. And as the Black Crows were preparing to do sound check for their performance, which would include two songs from their debut album, Shake Your Money Maker, uh, they'd be playing the songs Jealous Again and their mega hit cover of the old Otis Redding number, Hard to Handle. But as drummer Steve Gorman made his way to the stage, he found sitting on the drum riser, right near his drum kit, none other than Vanilla Ice, AKA Rob Van Winkle. I could just picture him sitting there in his full to the extreme regalia. Those crazy pants, that wild hairstyle. <laughs> I think he even toured with MC Hammer that year because I was in high school and I remember some kids who had went to the show because Vanilla Ice was the shit as far as we were concerned back in 10th grade. Now I was more of a classic rock guy even back then, but you know, I dug Ice Ice Baby. I mean, if you were a kid back then, you dug it. But anyways, Gorman approaches the, the drum riser and as he's approaching, Vanilla Ice looks up at him. Get away from those drums, dude! Gorman said with a scowl. What the fuck are you doing here? Prompting Vanilla Ice to squeal. Oh, sorry, dude. It's cool. But before Gorman had a chance to tell Vanilla Ice he was just fucking with him, Ice ran off to the backstage area. Gorman actually thought it was pretty funny to see Ice run off like that. After all, he couldn't stand the fact that Vanilla Ice had ripped off the bass line from the Queen and David Bowie song, Under Pressure, for his smash single, Ice Ice Baby. But you know, if you asked the Vanilla Ice, he'd tell you he actually didn't. We sampled him from him, but it's not the same bass line. Uh, like he goes, ding, 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 that's the way theirs goes. Ours goes, ding, 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 that little bitty change. It's not the same. So you know, Gorman wasn't going to lose any sleep over not letting Vanilla Ice know he was just busting his balls. <laughs> but that's the story of how Black Crow's drummer Steve Gorman baited Rob Van Winkle, a.k.a. Vanilla Ice, at the 1990 MTV New Year's Eve show. Hope you dug the video, and we'll see you next time. See you here. <laughs>